Hello, hello. Welcome to this week's conversation where I'm going to lift the veil and give you a sneak peek as to how I went from burnt out to feeling confident and thriving and living a soul aligned life. Now, if it's possible for me, it's possible for you. So stick with me because I am going to share with you everything that I did in order to get out from that dark night of the soul into the light, okay? So if you have just joined my channel, if you found me, thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe and share this video to whoever you think would benefit from this kind of conversation. So my name is Julie Sasha Cloutier. I am the owner of Divine Femme, which is a coaching and mentoring business for women who know deep down inside that they came here to be, do, and have more but they're in the void right now, right? They're in this space of unknowing. They're not too sure what it is that they they came here to do, how they're meant to show up, what is their zone of genius and their brilliance, and this is where I come in. So I help them unravel everything, and I use intuitive numerology and energy healing in order for them to see their power and to actually align to it and to connect to it so that they can start walking and navigating life with confidence and ease and clarity. Don't we all want that, right? Okay, so once upon a time, I was burnt out. I was living the rat race, right? I had this corporate job where I was working about 40 hours a week, and I always joke that I had my own personal bathroom in my office, which is amazing, right? I had the benefit plan. I had the vacation time. It, it looked good. I had the great pay. It looked good on paper, but I was feeling depleted, overwhelmed, unseen, right? Unappreciated. And I know, I knew that I needed to get out of that. I knew that there was something better for me. Now, I always had a little spiritual side to myself, right? But over the years, I had suppressed it. And I really fell into, you know, I call it the, the corporate cage. I really fell into this way of being, you know, the hustling and it's never enough and always trying to jump through hoops in order to have people see me and appreciate me and all, et cetera, et cetera. Does this resonate with you? So after several years of doing this, I ended up in a burnout. I ended up burnt out. I had to take a sick leave of my corporate job. And that just created even more stress because I only had three months in order to get my stuff together, get my act together so that I can go back to work. Now, if you've ever been through a burnout, you know what I'm talking about. It's like you have this little limited time here. It's like you see the timer on and it's a countdown and you need to figure it all out. You need to get better, right? And so that was creating even more stress for me. And I did everything that I was told to do. Go speak to this person, you know, read that book, do this, do that. I did all that and nothing worked. I just felt even worse. So the first thing that I did is that I surrendered. I was sitting in my backyard and I was looking out on a couple of acres that we had at the time. And I remember tears were streaming down and I was looking up at the sky and I was saying, you know what? I surrender. Like, I don't know what I need to do next. I know it's not to go back to that job. I know that I'm not, I'm not meant to go back there, but there's something going on. There's something going on. And I knew it was bigger than just my job. I knew that there was a great imbalance in my being. There was something happening. And when we go through this kind of a dark night of the soul, this is the universe's way. It's actually a gift to you, okay? They're, the universe is actually gifting you an opportunity to sit yourself down and to really sit with yourself and to figure out what's going on, to reconnect with your soul. So what I did is that when I surrendered, when I kind of just threw it out there in the universe and said, you know what, just guide me. I need guidance. When I did that, when I surrendered, what I did is that I started reconnecting with source. I had been completely disconnected with source, with the universe, with God, whatever term you know, resonates with you. And what happens when we do that, when we lead ourselves just with our ego, we end up not experiencing a soul aligned path because the ego just wants to keep you safe, right? It's all about fear. 
And so you are not taking inspired action. You're not taking soul aligned action. You're not connected to your intuition, nothing of that sort of your higher self. So you end up just making all of these decisions based on fear or on other people's beliefs, other people's opinions. Okay. And that's what I had done. And so when I surrendered, at the same time, I started reconnecting with source. And of course, when you start doing that, it's almost like the universe starts jumping up with joy and saying, finally, you know, she's letting me in. And within a couple of days, I ended up in a workshop on energy healing. Now, I always had that spiritual side of myself, but I had suppressed it over the years, like I was saying. And so... To, for me to go into that workshop was like reopening that part of me that I had suppressed, that I had kept hidden for so long in fear of being criticized, ridiculed, and rejected because it had happened in the past, okay? And so I went to this workshop and like they say, everything after that is just history because it just kind of reopened everything for me. I felt so alive. I felt so connected. I felt like this is it. This is where I need to go. It makes sense, right? So I started following following the cookie crumbs and my mentor, this woman who had actually offered this workshop, ended up being my mentor for five years. And I ended up being invited in a closed initiate school for mystics and sages, right? Where I learned everything about energy healing and energy management and ancient teachings. It was just phenomenal. phenomenal. And within that training, I was introduced to numerology, and I fell in love with the numerical realm. And so after that training, I went and got certified as a master intuitive numerologist. Now, the only thing I did was to surrender, to let go of everything of expectations and to forget about everything that I thought was true and to just reconnect with me and with source. That is the first step that I did. Okay. Now, once you start doing that, it opens up like Pandora's box, right? Because there's a lot of things that will come up to the surface to be healed. And that's where I see a lot of women put on the brakes and say, mm, no, you know what? That's too much. But in order for you to experience transformation, in order for you to experience a soul aligned life where you feel fulfilled, where you feel happy, blissful, where you feel like you're creating an impact and you're actually leaving a legacy behind for those who you've touched their hearts, right? So in order for you to do that, you need to go through what I call the goopy part, right? I call it the goopy part because when a caterpillar wants to transform, is ready to transform into a butterfly, in its cocoon, it turns into goop. Can you imagine? It's like everything gets dismantled, everything. Everything, the structure, everything gets just, it turns into goop. It's just, there's no more structure. And then it rebuilds itself and it transforms into a butterfly. And that's what we need to do. We need to go through the goopy part and dismantle so many aspects of our being. And the healing process for me went on for years and years. And I truly believe that I'm still not fully healed. I don't think we ever will be. I think that we will always ascend and we're always going to be expanding and we're always going to be evolving. That's what we came here for. But there's always going to be different layers because we're a multifaceted human being. So there's always going to be little layers, little things, you know, that we need to tweak. But the incredible and powerful thing about healing is that after you went through that whole goopy part, you know, like the, the big muck, <laughs> I call it, after you went through that, the rest is so much easier because while you're going through this whole transition, this whole transformation, you get to know yourself. You experience a deep sense of self. And when you know yourself at a soul level, there's nothing that can stop you. You become unshakable. So when challenges come up, you know, adversity comes up, you know yourself so well that you know what to do right away. You do not stay stuck in it for weeks, for months, for years. You don't stay stagnant. You know, you don't start fearing and running the other way. You actually, you've learned how to walk with your fear and how to transmute whatever is going on into one of your biggest life lessons into light. And that's, it's like a springboard, which like will bring you again to another level, right? Of your ascension. So 
what I have done is that I have gone through the goopy parts and there are moments in my life where it's going to be a little more intense. But now I'm actually excited. When I see that there's like some challenges coming up, I know that I'm going to come out of that challenge even stronger, more confident, more connected with myself, more connected with source, more connected with everything, with my purpose, right? I know that there's that light at the end of the tunnel and I don't fear the darkness anymore, okay? So that was the other part of how I got out of a burnout and at the same time make sure that I never ever go back into that type of experience okay because that was like I was scra scrapping at the bottom of the barrel right is that the saying I was really at the bottom of the barrel at that point and so once I had mastered myself right once I had mastered how my individual energetics worked okay this doesn't mean that you become perfect. This doesn't mean that there's no more challenges, is that now I know how I function. Now I know where my shadows were or where there are still some that I need to shed light on and work on. We're like a work in progress, right? Now I know myself so well that I can catch myself. And when you have this ability, when you become the observer and you become your own your own cheerleader and your own BFF, what happens is that you become the CEO of your life, right? And that is the last part of it. It's like you can walk in your power and your innate power and be tapped into your wisdom 24 seven. You're able to stand in your truth and that's where you become unshakable. Just like a huge oak tree, right? There's some gust of winds that can come or everything, but it's never gonna knock you down, ever, ever. And that's how I got out from my burnout. So I went from starting just to surrender and to reconnect with myself, work through whatever it is that had brought me there in the first place and really get to know myself, like really get to know myself, all of my individual energetics. And I did that through numerology. And then I was able to really refine and become and put myself in a position where I'm leading myself first. I am the one that leads myself first. I'm the one that calls myself out when I'm playing the people pleaser, when I'm trying to blame others and playing the victim, you know, the victim mentality. That is huge. That was something that was huge in my journey, right? I was always the martyr and the people pleaser. And because I was brought up in that kind of environment, right? I was brought up with women who played the martyr. And in society, a lot of women do still play that that type of role where they keep giving and giving and giving and they overgive and they put themselves on the back burner. And, you know, a lot, a lot of societies, you know, a lot of, of communities, it depends where you're living, but there's still a lot of places across this globe that actually applaud women for being so self-sacrificing, right? So I fell into that whole paradigm that whole way of being and believing and and it took me a long time to unravel all of that and it was thanks to numerology that had me see what it was that I kept doing the negative patterns right my shadows my ancestral wounds you can actually go and extract your ex ancestral wounds within your chart there is nothing that I cannot see in your chart I've been doing this for over a decade and I have yet to find one thing that I cannot do with numerology. I use it for myself, for my health and my well-being, for my business, for my children, for my husband, for my friends, for my clients. I teach it. I do everything with it. It is an ancient teaching. It's an infinite language, an infinite universal language. The entire universe is based on numbers. And I'm all about ancient teachings, right? That's why I ended up in a closed initiate school for mystics and sages. It was all about ancient teachings that came from a lineage of royalty, okay? And so, of course, I would have dived into numerology. Of course, that would have resonated with me, okay? It is possible for you to go from a place of depletion, of frustration, of confusion, of darkness, and transition into light. I am the living proof. I have done it and I have helped so many people transition 
from a place of depletion, from being burnt out into being soul aligned and becoming their own leader, the, the CEO of their lives. Now, if you would love to know more on how to journey with me and how to actually create this in your life, there are different opportunities for you to continue this path with me. I offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship, okay? And I also offer individual personalized readings where we dive into an aspect of your life and we unravel and shed light on that aspect. And once you're done the reading with me, you walk away seeing yourself in a complete different way. It's like the lenses have changed. Your perspective will change on you, on yourself, and how you're meant to navigate this life. So if you're interested in really taking a deep dive into your individual energetics and moving and shifting the energy, the stagnant energy that's been holding you back, that's been keeping you captive from living a life of fulfillment, of joy, of freedom, then I would love for you to consider working with me. Just look in the descriptions, all the links are there, and you can also just leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to reply. So hopefully this conversation has shed light on something that is going on in your life right now. You came here for a reason. The universe doesn't make extra people. And if it's in your heart, it's in your chart. I'm sending you all so much love and so much light. Ciao for now.